Welcome to Wisconsin Family. I'm Jessa Jeremiah. And I'm Justin Riley. We have a great show for you today. We are here at Wisconsin Granite down in McFarland, and it's a really cool place. It is. So welcome to Wisconsin Granite yes. and Wisconsin Family. <laughs> Family Granite, yeah. We're having a lovely time. We're going to talk a little bit about some trends in home design, some exciting things about colors, materials, importing. Mm -hmm. It'll be a learning experience for you and I both. Definitely be a learning experience. Yeah. Ismail is so passionate about what he does. Mm -hmm. It's really great to, to talk with him. Absolutely. So. Mm -hmm. And we're also, <laughs> we're so excited, we can't decide who's going to talk yeah. about it. We're talking a little bit about trends in salons as well. So mm -hmm. if you've never been to Rockabetty's, now they've been on Park Street for about five years. And what a great salon serving everybody from kids on up to, as she puts it, grannies. <laughs> kids to so. grannies. So <laughs> it's a great place. We'll also be joined by Lauren from the Cat Cafe Mad. This is a really cool concept because it's actually a place, what do they say, coffee, Coffee, cats, cats and, and cuddles cuddling. every day. Yeah, all of the above. <laughs> yeah. I love all three, so I look yeah. forward to chatting with her. It's a really unique business that she started a while back after some of her travels, so we'll learn more about that after the break. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We are enjoying ourselves here at Wisconsin Granite and talking a little bit about some wonderful news and exciting things that's going on here at Wisconsin Granite. You're going to definitely want to stick around and watch that segment and find out what's in it for you. And now we are joined by Miss Lauren Glover, who is the one of the co-owners, right, for yep. Mad, or for Cat Cafe Mad. Got yes. you right, right? <laughs> So, okay, this is such a cool concept. We've gotten to talk to Lauren before, and it's, it's such a neat thing that you guys are doing, but basically, it's cats, coffee, and cuddles every day. Yes. So, I mean. <laughs> I love it. Does it get any better than it that? It doesn't get any better than I, that. I, I don't think so. But let's talk a little bit about, for folks who don't know, if that didn't tell you enough, what Cat Cafe Mat is. So, um, what you do is you come into the cafe, uh, you pay a fee, and once you enter, you can have a cup of coffee, drinks, any type of that's available. And then you take it into the cat area and we have, right now we have about 18 cats. And you can stay, you can cuddle with them, you can play with them. Anything you want, you, another drink is just a dollar. And you can stay the whole day and just enjoy the joy of cuddling with cats That's furry so feline with them. friends there's 18 of them you know wow. i get this picture of like the crazy <laughs> cat lady you don't have to be the crazy cat lady you get to go just enjoy right, it yeah. for a day exactly right. <laughs> maybe i've seen one. people you know falling asleep with the cats on oh, the couch oh, yeah. you so know cute. Just, really has cuddles yeah cats yeah. help lower bro blood pressure right there's a lot yeah. of reasons to yeah, yeah i've enjoy. seen people during uh study week they're sitting there with a cat on their lap and studying. Like, that's great. what's the best? That's the best way to get rid of the stress. Absolutely. From... Do the cats live there? I'm, I'm we curious. have um, about nine cats, which are ours, and okay. live there. And then the rest of them are all uh, we're fostering, basically. Okay. And they're up for adoption. Okay. That's so great. That's cool. And so they're actually there to be. Um, available for people to see them mm -hmm. and then you can apply through the different shelters that we get them from for adoption so we actually have um, it's really nice we have two cats named Gareth and Q okay right Gareth is this senior citizen he's um, very rotund uh -huh. and all he likes to do is lay on the couch sure and not move yeah. <laughs> And um, like a Garfield type, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, except he's not the right color, but Q, okay. his little friend, who is uh, about five or six years old, he's like 16, mm -hmm. which is pretty old in cat right. years, sure. yeah. and she cuddles with him. Oh, that's and sweet. And they, shelter from the storm, had been having trouble uh, getting him adopted for a decade. Wow. Really? So we brought him into our cafe. He's yeah. been here about four months, and he's being picked up on Saturday. 
Oh, oh that's fantastic. So, that's wonderful. Yeah. They get a, the, the people get a chance to really interact with the cats. Right, versus exactly. Just pull them out of the cage, put them in, and say, I'll take that one. Yeah. Yeah, you get to know them and love them. I imagine if you're there just for an afternoon or maybe you've come to visit a few times, so you can kind of see if your personality jives with right. the cat, right? Because yeah. the cats have so much personality. Yes, they do. Well, we'd love to talk about this all day, but we have some <laughs> other questions we have to get yeah. to, Lauren, here. So, um, <laughs> you have some events that are coming up at Cat Cafe, Matt. Can you talk to us about those? Uh, yes, tomorrow we're actually having a Pokemon Go night. Oh. So we release a lure every day to drive in Pokemon, and we have a Pokemon expert coming in to give advice. Oh my. I didn't so. know there was such a thing, a Pokemon expert. <laughs> Like a certified Pokemon this expert. This person yeah. has a very high level okay. of uh, Pokemon <laughs> training. Wow, okay. That's incredible. Um, and, Saturday, and Sunday there is uh, yoga with cats. Okay. Which we hold once a month. There's yeah. always going to be yoga, oh which gosh. is a lot of fun. That's so <laughs> cute. Yeah. yeah. And um, next week on the 25th, there's a movie night for Monsters Inc. Inc. for Welcome Week for UW. Okay. And um, always on Wednesdays, it's two for one. So that's okay. always a good day. Two cats? No, two, two cats. <laughs> two <coffees>. We wish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, how lovely. That's so sweet. And I, just thinking about all, everything that you have going on, you're so busy. And I love the concept. I think it's really sweet for one. And also, like you mentioned, therapeutic. But where did you get the idea to start this company? So um, I, uh, I'm an archaeologist, and I work in Korea and Japan. Oh my! So, what um, a departure from this. <laughs> right. <moment>. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so um, while we were there, uh, while I was there doing my research, my mother and brother, who are the other co-owners, came to visit, and I took them to my favorite cat cafe, and we went. Okay, we need to start one of these. <laughs> Wow. And uh, they're a really new concept in the U.S. Yeah. So, I mean, they're all over Asia, but they really hadn't moved here. So we wanted to give everybody else the joy of just visiting and being able to lounge with cats and sure. play with them. Yeah. Right. So, What a neat thing. Well, you've <laughs> taken a wonderful concept, brought it back to us here, and I think it's just a lovely idea. Great way to get some cats adopted that, yeah. that haven't been able to in the past, and you get to know them a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. So, I think that's wonderful. Lots of wonderful events coming up. This is Lauren Glover, owner of Cat Cafe Mad. I have the, the instinct to say Mad Cat Cafe, but that's not right. <laughs> Cat Cafe Mad. Uh, best time to visit. Is there a best time to get, get over there? Yeah. You, I mean, Wednesday, definitely, okay. uh, for two for one. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and also, Monday and Tuesday are quite slow, so you get the full attention of the cats Ooh, if you okay. want to. That's the best times to visit. You yeah. heard it here. <laughs> We're going to be back with more Wisconsin Family. Stick around. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We are filming here on location at Wisconsin Granite, and we're looking forward to later in the show getting a little demonstration. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see the demonstration. So we'll have a nice show. Maybe you can stick around with us, Angela. This is Angela Schultz, the owner of Rockabetty Salon, and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So this is a great topic. I love talking about different salons in the area. There are so much to, that you have to offer. You're over on Park Street, correct? Yes. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about what makes Rockabetty's different from some other salons out there. Um, well, we're very welcoming to everybody. You can just come as you are. You can be in your yoga pants and jammies, and that's perfectly fine. You don't have to dress up for us. And we're, we would rather empower everyone and empower women and make you feel really good about yourself than, you know, be like, oh, why are you wearing that? I, I think that's cute that you mentioned that because <laughs> it, as a, I don't know if you feel this pressure, Justin, but I think women do feel a certain pressure yeah. to go to the salon already looking good. You know, like you need to dress up for the occasion or, or come, come looking already salon ready. And really that's what you're going there for, to be comfortable and, you know, refresh your look, right? Absolutely. And I have uh, I always wear my uh, yoga pants when I go to the salon. <laughs> Good. So. Justin's yeah. wearing yoga pants yeah. now. You just can't, yeah, see. You just can't <laughs> see it. So, um, I'm just curious to know, Angela, what what is your typical clientele? Who do you serve? Um, well, we really range all the way from kids up to older adults as okay. well. Um, we do have some grandmas that come in that have the white hair that want to do the funky colors in their sure. hair. 
and uh, we get college students, we get baby boomers, 30-somethings, everybody. So what you're saying is, yeah, it's a salon for everyone. It's, yeah. So. And you get do you, you. do you get a fair balance of uh, men and women, or is it pretty much mostly women? We do. We don't necessarily decorate for men. It's slightly girly That's in there, okay. so we do it's have men that come in and say, "Do you, do you do accept you. men here?" <laughs> but we absolutely do. That's we good. we yeah. love our men clientele. We do a lot of uh, pedicures for our men, oh, really? okay. as well as haircutting and things like That's that. It's becoming too. such a growing trend for men to yes. pamper themselves a little bit mm -hmm. because it's us ladies. We've been enjoying it for years, but I'm so glad to see <laughs> men get on board with That's the right. pedicures. Men are easy clients too. They don't ask for polish <laughs> <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about some products and and services that you offer. Give us sort of the overview of what you can get. Um, so we do a lot of different kinds of nail services with the no chip manicures and pedicures and then we offer a lot of different kinds of um, different hair cutting and different coloring. Um, we do do conservative things as well as funky things, okay. um, wh whatever you need. And we do have um, body waxing and um, we do not have a massage therapist at the moment. We are currently looking for one. Oh, um, that's right. a nice addition we, if you get that. Yeah. Right? And we do do a lot of um, bridal service as well. We do on-location hair and makeup for brides and their wedding parties. Oh, nice. Um, that's so that's kind of how I started yeah. the business, yes. Yeah. So yeah. that's how you got into this, is is really working with brides and bridal parties yes. and going on location. And now you have your physical location. So you've kind of come full circle, but you still go out and pamper those yeah. brides and yeah. bridal parties. People so think nice. they're crazy, but they're really pretty great. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. So you've been you've been on Park Street now for five years? Uh -huh. it'll be five years Labor Day weekend. Excellent. Hey. Congratulations. Happy on birthday. That. Yeah. How how has that area changed in the past five years that you've been there? So we used to be located across the street closer to Jade Garden and at sure. that time there was a lot of vacant commercial spaces. Really? A lot of kind of kind of ugly stuff left, um, but there's nothing but new medical facilities and new apartments and new retail areas and um, the city is is extra picky about what they require as far as signage and things on Park Street and they really want things to to be on the up and up and looking really nice in that area. Absolutely. That's nice. Of course. I think that's helpful. And yeah. Talk a little bit for folks at home who want to come in and whether they're the granny or the kiddos <laughs> or want the conservative or the funky hairstyle, what's the best way to go about it? Do you take walk-ins? Is an appointment recommended? Appointment is definitely recommended. A lot of times we're so busy that we don't always have time for walk-ins. Um, if we do, absolutely, we will accept them. Um, but the easiest way to book is online. We have a wonderful 24-hour scheduling system. You can be at home in your jammies or in your yoga pants, whatever you like to do. Yes, scheduling okay. that appointment in the middle of the night. You don't even have to talk to anybody on the phone. Um, you can also text us as well if you just really don't want much human contact at all. Or you can call or email. Wow, you have a lot of ways to book appointments. We do. That's yeah. really nice. You know what, though? Sometimes you do have that epiphany moment. I don't know if you've been through this, but occasionally like you'll look in the mirror and go, Whoa, I need a haircut, what's wrong with me? And it might be midnight, and yeah. so you can book your appointment online in the moment of panic <laughs> that you're experiencing. It, for me, it's usually two to three weeks after I have that epiphany that I actually <laughs> book my appointment. Though, I know so. the feeling. <laughs> but, so it sounds like you have a really fun atmosphere over at uh, Rockabetty's. So what I'm wondering is, uh, you mentioned a little bit about how you're looking for a potentially a massage therapist to, to join the team. Are you looking for anybody else to join the team? Are you are you hiring new people? We are. We need an esthetician right now. Somebody that does um, body waxing would be really helpful. And um, we are looking for another stylist that kind of uses all aspects of her cosmetology license. And um, yeah, the best way to do that would be to drop off a resume and come see me in person. Fantastic. Or you can email one too. Sounds good. Well, <laughs> It's always a good sign when a salon is busy and growing and needing more folks. So thanks so much for sharing. This is Angela Schultz, owner of Rockabetty Salon on Park Street. They're busy behind us. We're going to find out what that's all about a little bit later. We're here at Wisconsin Ground, and we'll be right back with, with Wisconsin Family. And welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We are here at Wisconsin Granite, and we're really excited. I'm excited. I am too. I can't wait. Because <laughs> we're going to learn a thing or two here about granite countertops. I'm joined now by Ismail Fursat and Jenny Johnston. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us here today. Pleasure. So 
last time we were here, we talked about how you guys import your stone from Brazil, but that is changing, or you're adding some things, which is pretty exciting. Can you talk to us about that a little bit? Right. We're so excited yeah. about this because we add Italy uh -huh. and India in our last ship. So not just Brazil, you're adding Italy and India. Yes, I was in Italy two weeks ago. Okay. I came back, ordered eight containers. Okay. White colors, marbles, and some granite. So we're excited to add India and Italy on our train. Yeah. That's fantastic. I love talking anything home. And what I also love is the genuine excitement you have about this new product. Because yeah. it is. It's really exciting. Mm -hmm. And I think what makes it really exciting, we've been talking a little off camera about this, but the, the products really vary from country to country. And so by adding different countries into your imports, you're actually increasing the offers for customers mm -hmm. when they come to Wisconsin Granite. What's the difference between country in, in stone and product? Right. There are some colors that only uh, specifically in India. There are some black colors. We call them black galaxy. Black stone has gold mm -hmm. sparkles in it. Only in India, nowhere else. And there are some white color stones that only in Italy. Okay. For example, the one that's in behind. It's beautiful. It's home uh -huh. surface. It's only in Brazil, nowhere else. Uh -huh. That's why you know I have to travel each different country to bring each different colors in. Here. That's incredible. And I think it's important for viewers to know that you, as the owner of the company, are actually the one that's traveling to these countries mm -hmm. and sort of hand picking mm -hmm. some of these different products and, and styles. Mm -hmm. so I think that's really cool. So, all right, let's. Why, why ultimately uh, should a customer care whether where they get their granite countertop from in terms of you know local businesses? Why come to Wisconsin Granite versus some other place? The age old what's in it for yeah, me, what's right? Yeah, what's in it for them? <laughs> what's in it for me, yeah. 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 The most important thing is uh, we're not limited to wholesaler company's selection mm -hmm. about color. Sure. So uh, when I talk with my customers, I know what they like. So when I go to Italy or Brazil or uh, India, I uh, look at from their perspective. Mm -hmm. That's how I choose the colors. Yeah. And the second and the most important thing is, of course, is price. Because there is no middleman. Mm -hmm. so normally, we started importing about three years ago. Three years ago, we did not have that. We were buying from the wholesaler companies, and it was middlemen. They make their profit. But now, since I'm importing directly, in this case, we're just getting rid of the middleman and they're buying directly from the importer, that reflects them on the bill. Right. So they get about 20 to 30% less than the uh, when, market value. When you're talking about the whole piece of the pie, there's a whole person in there that's usually taking a piece of that profit mm -hmm. that's been removed from the equation. Exactly. That's so the advantage for the customer. That goes directly then, the savings to the customer. So the product and the quality and the imports are still at a very high level and a wide selection, maybe mm -hmm. even wider, than a lot of companies, but the cost then is lower. Yeah, and people can actually come in and select the exact piece that they want. It's not like, oh, I want this style, can you find me something that closely matches? It's, mm. this is the piece that I want, can I, I want can I this one I want this. in my kitchen. <laughs> right, yeah. That is the advantage. Yeah. So that's why we have about 100 colors. We, we brought the full containers in stock, so yeah. that way they can hand pick what they like. That's yeah. incredible. So yeah. what an experience, too, to get to come hand pick what's actually in your own kitchen or bathroom. Mm -hmm. And let's talk a little bit about, because we're going to talk trends in a minute, but I want to first touch on the difference in materials because mm -hmm. there's a question out there between the difference in quartz and granite as, mm -hmm. as styles change and people have their preferences. For folks at home who don't know, what's the big difference? Mm -hmm. We get a lot of questions asked um, between the difference of quartz and granite. Um, the main issue, I, guess, I should say an issue, but the main um, concern with people mm -hmm. with granite is that um, it's a lot of maintenance and they have to seal it. Okay. Um, it's a really easy process. It's a spray on application. You let it sit for a few minutes and wipe it off and that's virtually all there is. Because with granite is a porous stone. Correct. Yeah, right. so all stone is porous. Uh -huh. um, so it just kind of seals up those pores so then nothing will penetrate through that stone and it yeah. um, is a clean surface and um, with the quartz it's already it's a man-made product mm -hmm. um, so it already is sealed so it is virtually maintenance free mm -hmm. um, however there are advantages with granite um, because you can put hot surfaces like uh, if you take right. a pot out of the oven and put it on your countertop for a few minutes and then put it back you know into the oven if you're stirring it what have you um, you can definitely do that on granite with quartz um, 
generally not recommended. So. Okay. 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 So there's some benefits, you know, weigh out your options sure. and decide what's right, right. for you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not hard to to maintain the granite countertops. Like you said, it's just 30 seconds yeah. on and off, and then you're yep. you're good to go. Yep. It's a spray application. You let it sit, yeah. penetrate the stone, wipe it off, and buff it out a little bit, and it's easy peasy. Good to easy go. Easy peasy. We <laughs> like easy around here. So. Yeah. Um, Color and style wise, Jenny, what are some of the current trends that you're seeing? What are people asking for? What are they requesting? What's what's going on? This is where I get excited. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. a lot of what we've been seeing is um, the white and gray look. Um, yes. Like what we have right mm -hmm. behind here. Okay. This has been really popular. We've um, sold a couple of these slabs already, so it's really exciting. Yeah. Um, gray is the new black, isn't gray it? Gray is definitely <laughs> the new black. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and just clean, modern looks. Um, and so Ismail did an awesome job with finding us a lot of white and gray stones. That's what people are looking for. And It's so beautiful and clean. And I think with the open concept being such mm -hmm. an important aspect mm -hmm. in a home these days, yeah. having a countertop that portrays that light and that openness and it's a little airy mm -hmm. is such a big trend because of it that. Is. Yep. Right. Giving you that open feel. And I think it's important to, to know that no matter what you get style wise or color wise, I mean these are if you have granite countertops in your kitchen, I mean that mm -hmm. adds an incredible value to your home, regardless of, you know, if it's been there for ten months or ten years. Exactly. Yeah. yeah but we also have been seeing where people do kind of a fun pattern such as this, like on an island, and then mm -hmm. they'll do something a little more subdued on their perimeter. So that's been kind of a sure. trend too. And yeah. I think eclectic kitchens are kind of, you know, what anything goes kind of nowadays. So Isn't it's that kind of fun. Yeah. yeah, and I find that wonderful because it used to be such a it needed to everything needed to match. Yeah. Right. And now making sure your colors coordinate, mm -hmm. but they don't have to be the same. So you can exactly. pick right. out a specific slab for your island, like mm -hmm. you said, and something different for your yeah. colors. It's Complimenting fun. each other. That's exactly. an important thing yep. to do. And you guys help out pick out colors for people in the, based on what they already have in their kitchen. Yeah, a lot of times we'll bring in a, zap, a sample of their um, cabinet or what mm -hmm. have you, and we'll just kind of walk around with them, help them make a good selection. and. Yeah. I think that's a good point to make because, you know, sometimes people may have a tendency to think that because the price is better, that means the service is not going to be as good. Mm -hmm. But that's not the case. Not the case you get it all. both. Yeah. Yep, definitely. Yep. Ismail Fersat and Jenny Johnston, thank mm -hmm. you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us today. It's been yes. great. Thank you. thank you. That's all the time we have for Wisconsin Family. We'll see you next time. Every day is a new beginning. Shine your light. It's a day and the world is waiting.